So this is question 1.9, and it's called string rotation. We're given two strings, S1 and S2, and we want to check if S2 is a rotation of S1. So one example of this is here we have the word water bottle, and we want to see if this is a rotation of water bottle. So what a rotation is, first of all, is if we just took E and we shifted it to the front. We then take the second last index L and we shift it to the front. So that's basically rotation. You're just taking the last index and shifting it to the front. Now, this is in fact a rotation of water bottle, and that's because we could shift water or we could shift bottle to the front, and then we would shift ter, the T E R, to the front. And we can see that water bottle was shifted so many times to get the same um, string. So that's our test case. And she also provides the is substring method in the book. I'm going to use something different because she kind of says that um, this is supplied to you. It's something that she wrote. Um, but we're just going to use a common string method called um, index of. But I'll just first show you the solution. So the first thing that you would want to do is just check to see if the lengths match because if they don't match then you automatically know that they are definitely not s2 is definitely not a rotation of s1 since well it you've clearly either added a character or deleted a character so you know if you're just shifting values just replacing their orientation um, then you know they would have the same length so we'll return false the next trick is we're actually going to use string builder we will call this S3. And we're just using string builder just to avoid concatenation. We have to do a concatenation here. And because concatenation of two strings runs in O n squared time, whenever I have to do it, I try to use string builder. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to do S3 is equal to S1 plus S1. And what that is using String Builder is just S3 dot append S1. And the same thing, S3 dot append S1. And so what that actually looks like is water bottle, right? So if we appended S1 to S3, it would then look like water bottle. And then if we appended it one more time, it'll be water bottle, water bottle. And so what that allows us to do is if we highlighted our potential rotation of S1, we can see that it actually contains it within this new S3 string right here. And so what that allows us to do is we can either use the is substring method that she said that you're supposed to be able to use in the book but instead what we're going to use and do here is just do s3 dot index of s2 and the index of you might already be acquainted with it it's just a, a method that comes with strings so that you can see okay if s2 is contained within s3 where does it start and in this case it would be 0 1 2 so our S2 string would start at the second index of S3. Um, otherwise, if it doesn't contain S2 in S3, it would return negative 1. So it does not equal negative 1. So this will return true if S2 is contained within S3 because it won't equal negative 1. Oh, wait, we want to do this because know this yeah and so otherwise um, if it does equal negative one then this will be false so then we know that okay it is not a rotation so why don't we go ahead and run this and string builder uh, I just got add a uppercase B here great and it returns true 
say if we also rotated the letter A to the front as another test case, then it would also be true. And say if we change the letter W to F, which would be incorrect because water ball doesn't contain the letter F, then it would be false. So for this question, we're using the time complexity of O of N, and it is essentially O2 of N because, well, at worst case, we could be searching through um, the entirety of S3, which is two times S1, and N is the length of S1, uh, but it's essentially O of N because you don't take into account that times two here. And then for space complexity, because we're using this S3, it is also two times S1, but we are just um, thinking that as O of N because, well, we're not considering um, that constant here. So yeah, I hope that helped and um, good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Have a great day.